Hi everyone, it's Amy, and this evening I wanted to do a video on making these cute little embellishments. Um, they're real quick, fun, easy to make, and it's also very, it's a good way to use up your scraps, which we're always looking for ways to do that. And it's also very neat because you can cut up old magazines that you would never think would make a nice embellishment on anything. But this is actually a magazine page. And it was a picture of a flower from a flower bed. And I just mounted it on some manila envelope. I glued it down first and then punched it. So it gives it, you know, it's a little bit more sturdier than just using a magazine paper. But it's really fun, a fun way to use up your scraps. And they're super easy. So um, you can make this size here is made from this Martha Stewart punch. It's the large butterfly. But you could also make it um, out of this size, which looks like this that I made. It's a cute little fun embellishment that um, you can put on a page. I'll just show you here real quick. It's just super cute. I love it. Just a cute little thing to put on there. And you can decorate your clothespins up any way that you want. You can either cover them with paper. Or you could mist them up, stamp them, um, glimmer mist them, do whatever you want with them. So it's a lot of fun, super quick, super easy. So let me go ahead and tell you what you're going to need. It's always helpful to have some tools for when you're cutting your wires. And um, of, course your, uh, of course the punch of your choice. Tonight I'm going to be using this. And um, if you want a stamp, you're going to need a stamp of your choice. And um, some scraps, which we all have plenty of, and some clothespins. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead. I decided this evening that I am going to um, use this paper. So um, I'm going to go ahead, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color my, let me move these aside here. I'm going to color my butterfly in. And I am going to use the Victorian Velvet. And I'm just going to take my all disorganized here. But just laying it down, and it's easiest if I just press on it to get it colored. Now you can take these apart if you want. But you all probably know if you want to really color that inside there. And they're very easy to take apart and put back together. But for this evening's video, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to color them up here. My dogs are starting to play down there, of course. There you go. And that's colored. And then the next thing I'm going to do... Is I'm going to use this stamp set and you don't need a real big stamp set or stamp because it's such a little one a little clothespin but this is my favorite ink that I like to use so I'm going to just go ahead and ink that up Let's see if I can stay on camera and just press down on that and you can see it gives it a real neat effect You can even do the sides by laying it flat and just going over. So you see it doesn't have to be anything real neat, which is what I like. And it gives it just like a real cool effect. I really, really like it. It's really cool. You can actually just use it just like that. But, um, put this aside for now. I'm going to go ahead and punch my butterfly. Pretty pink. Get this off of here. And the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to 
put it in some embossing ink. Oh, uh, one thing I did want to say. If the backside white bothers you, all you have to do, all you could do, is just take your ink pad, go ahead and run your stamp over it. And you see it's real cool. And you can even take your ink of your choice and go ahead and color it in. This way, if you were putting it on a project where it would show on both directions, it's not going to matter so much. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my embossing ink and go ahead and stick this in here. Nothing fancy here about this. And I'm going to go ahead and get my tweezers ready. Oop. My embossing pad. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in there. Okay. I'll get them all glittered up there. And you can do as many layers as you want with these. I'm going to go ahead and heat set it. It's a good thing to warm up your heating tool first. And then go ahead and melt the beauty. And while this is still wet, I'm going to go ahead and give it another coat. You don't have to give it multiple coats. I am tonight. I'm going to go ahead and one coat actually is really sufficient. And it's really fun because you can decorate these up any way you want afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to put them aside to dry. Okay, he's drying. I got my clothespin ready. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my wire. And this evening I'm going to use black because I think it'll show up better. And for this size butterfly, I usually just measure out probably around three inches is best. And it's not an exact science. So, you know, you don't have to be very, you know, too particular. And get your wire cutters and cut around a three inch mark. It cuts very easy. Okay. And then here you go. Next thing you do is you just kind of fold this up in half to make it even. And then you're just going to crisscross that there, over. And then it looks like this. So at this point, I just kind of squeeze these together a little bit. And then bring this back up. And it looks like this right now. And then with these round tips, I'm not sure the proper name of these, but with these wires, wire, um, I don't even know what they're called, the proper name for it anyway, but they have round tips, you can see. I just take it, and I'm going to go 
And then for this one, I'm just going to go the opposite way. See? Very easy. And then since he's cool, I'm going to bend him up a little bit. And you can see the back side looks pretty cool. So if he were to show on a project from another side, it wouldn't look, you know, too out of place. You can, um, you know, decorate him up any way you want. You can add stickles. And you don't have to put them on a, um, a clothespin. Um, this one I got on a, a little metal clip. So you can put them on anything you want. You can stickle them up. You can use your, what's this, um, I forget what this is called again, but um, to add some bling, you can add some bling on here. You can just do anything you want with them. That's very versatile. So with this now, I'm going to take a little dab of hot glue, and I'm going to put it on the back here. And put my antennas right there. And you can see there's my butterfly. And you can use them like this on a project. Whoops. Which, you know, even in itself is really cute. Or what we're doing is we're going to put them on a stick here. So I'm going to get a little dab of glue. Put it on the clothespin. And then I'm going to tilt them to the side just a little bit. Maybe even here. And you can fold your wings up. And there's your little cute embellishment. Takes minutes to make and super fun. And you can see the back side looks pretty cool too. So, and you can see that was so easy. And I used um, one here on an altar. This was some sample packaging that I took and altered up. And I put a little butterfly clip on it. And when I display it, I display it. Let's see if I can bring it up a little bit. Usually it sits like this. So you can just see the butterfly up. And I did not really do the back of mine, but it looks okay for me. So and my thing's actually got, there he goes. And you can make your antennas any color that you want. But they're really cute on projects. So anyway, there is a quick idea to use your scraps up. Quick, fun project to do if you're not really in the mood to craft but want to make something up. You can make a bunch of these little babies up and um, give us gifts. Send them in with cards. Do whatever you want. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Bye.